Monday, April 20th, 2020. Hello, my name is Kyra Eubanks, and I'm Miss Broward County 2020. Hello, my name is Sudan Eubanks, and I'm an inspiring title holder. And here's our quote for the day. Why don't you start us off with the theme? Well, our quote, uh, our quote theme is resilience. Mm -hmm. Our quote of the day is, I never lose. I only win or I learn from yours truly, Nelson Mandela. <laughs> I think that that is so true. Everything that we have in our lives can be taught as a lesson. It can teach us something so that we can be able to celebrate our triumphs. What do you think, Sue? I mean, um, l losing in a sort is just a learning curve. It's a way to learn from your mistakes and how to be better in the future. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. And so we're going to start you off with a wonderful story about a boy who wrote a poem about his autism and now he has a publishing deal. 14-year-old Benjamin Giraud wrote a poem about his experiences with autism titled, I am odd, I am new. This poem has been read by millions of people and has been translated into over 21 languages. The poem is being actually published as a children's book by, uh, by Schiffer Publishing. An excerpt from the poem goes like this. I am odd, I am new. I hear voices in the air, I see you don't, and that's not fair. I want to not feel blue. I am odd, I am new. I pretend that you are too. I feel like a boy in outer space. I touch the stars and feel out of place. I wonder what others might think. I cry when people laugh. It makes me shy. I am odd. I am new. I understand now that so are you. We need to celebrate what makes us unique because oftentimes what makes us unique may resonate with others. It may help us be able to also relate to others who don't even know us. Well, our second headline is Designs for Green Airships Get Off the Ground. A solar-powered airship capable of carrying loads of 250 tons could one day be used as a low-emissions way to freight cargo internationally. Its British designers claim the airship will be used um, will use just 8% of the fuel of a conventional jet airplane yeah. on a transatlantic flight. And since airships benefit from jet stream winds, they also offer an advantage over cargo ships in efficiency and carbon emissions. What did you take from that article, Sue? I mean, as a society, we're constantly innovating and even during this time, we are still innovating and making things easier for us just as humans. And um, I also noticed watching the other uplifting news, I usually do the scientific <laughs> topics because that's like my passion. <laughs> I love STEM and Cairo's the humanitarian for sure. Always, 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 <laughs> always. Well, you know what time it is. Positive Thoughts Jar. So here's our Positive Thoughts Jar for newcomers. Okay, so drum roll, please. Brrr. <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> so ours is finish what you start. Oh, that's a good one. You know, I feel as though there are people sometimes... Hi there, Germany. There's people sometimes where they just... Um, they start something, but then they get discouraged or distraught, and they say, you know what? I'm giving up. But we have to finish what we start. Because we don't know, maybe the end of the road will actually, the end of the journey will be so wonderful, so precious that we, we become so happy that we actually finished. What do you think? I mean, she lives by this model. Even <laughs> it was a coincidence, <laughs> coincidence because um, we were just talking about taking a, um, the happy course from mm -hmm. Yale that we were just talking about in our uplifting news. Yes. And she was like, I want to make sure that I start at the right, right time because I want to um, finish what I started. Absolutely, absolutely. The end result will be so much better than what you think. You just have to put the hard work in. As long as you can focus, right? So you may be wondering why we're wearing these shirts that say Walk for Kids. Sudan, why don't you go ahead and explain the significance? So, it was her idea. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday I was wearing a charity shirt and mm -hmm. I was like, what? Wouldn't it be such a nice idea to wear on the Uplifting News show and mm -hmm. explain why we have all these various charity shirts and why we help out the community? You want to talk more about that? Absolutely. <laughs> so our father actually got us these shirts after walking. He, he actually did a 5K run, excuse me, um, to benefit children um, in the community as well as nationally. And so he's the one who's inspired us to make sure that we are not only doing these walks and runs in Enjoying some of the 
the trophies that we get. You know, I've gotten a few for running, which is exciting, but it's not about the award. It's about knowing that what you're doing, that small action is actually making a big difference. So we want to encourage you to wear a shirt or share a shirt that makes you feel as though you're contributing, it's made an impact or it makes you feel wonderful. And then once you put on that shirt or you talk about that shirt, please comment below why it has a significant meaning for you. We'd love to be able to see that. <laughs> Oh, well, um, my, my sister and my dad are the runners in the family. I can't say that I've ever done a 5K, <laughs> but I hope to do one in the future. Oh, my goodness. I think we'll be able to do one when everything is settled again. So in that, in, with that being said, please stay uplifted and tune in for tomorrow's episode of Uplifting News. Bye.